Two of the most exciting advancements in solar energy are about to collide. On one hand, perovskite solar cells, which are the rising stars in PV technology known for their rapid efficiency gains in the recent past. On the other hand, graphene, the wonder material, just one atom thick. Put them together and we might just unlock the future of affordable, ultra-efficient solar power. In a recent breakthrough, this is exactly what has happened. Perovskite solar cells first made headlines in 2009 with a humble efficiency of under 4%. Fast forward a little more than a decade and researchers have pushed that number to 26%. In tandem with silicon, efficiencies are now brushing 30%, surpassing what we thought was possible for solar PV. But it's not just about the numbers. Perovskite are lightweight, printable, and cheap to manufacture compared to silicon. They can be layered on flexible surfaces or integrated into windows. There are some hurdles to overcome though. Long-term stability remains a challenge, and scaling up to mass production without sacrificing performance is also a stumbling block. Meanwhile, graphene, once called the most expensive material on Earth, is finally becoming affordable. Thanks to better manufacturing techniques like electrophoretic deposition and chemical vapor deposition, its price has dropped steadily over the past few years. Companies are now producing large sheets and dispersion at a fraction of the old cost, Commercial grade graphene is now as low as $1,000 per kilogram. The global market is growing fast, projected to multiply more than tenfold this decade. That matters because graphene isn't just a laboratory curiosity anymore. It's finding its way into batteries, electronics, and now solar cells. According to a recent breakthrough reported by PV Magazine, researchers from First Graphene and their partners Halo Cell Energy and the Queensland University of Technology have integrated a special form of graphene into perovskite solar cells. The results are stunning. The efficiency of the cell has jumped to about 30.6%, which is nearly double what the same cells achieved before. Even more remarkable is the fact that manufacturing costs dropped by up to 80%, because not only graphene can replace expensive metals like gold and silver, but more importantly, it is compatible with roll-to-roll -roll printing. Furthermore, these cells have exceptionally low energy payback time. One must remember that producing silicon cells is an incredibly energy-intensive process. That is why the energy payback time of silicon cells is two years, while the energy payback time of perovskite cell is just six weeks. One can imagine that when these perovskite graphene cells will be commercialized, then you can get 30% more energy compared to any existing solar PV system. This marriage of perovskite and graphene could be a tipping point for solar. We're talking about combining world-class efficiency with radical affordability. Imagine solar panels that cost a fraction of today's prices and even work great in low light conditions. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.